It was a down-home swearing-in ceremony for Councilmember Kern Price. As Anna Marco shows us, the party hosted free food, fun, and entertainment. But it was also about building community and looking to the future. It wouldn't be a party without some gospel singing in this case, the Second Baptist Church Choir. But in this community, a young mariachi girl band was also part of the swearing-in entertainment. Because he unites people. Because he's a leader for all. Because he understands that when the black community and the Latino community are pitted against each other, we lose. But when we get together and we fight, we have a vision. We win. The best of my ability. Congratulations. <laughs> Council member Curran Price was sworn in by U.S. Congresswoman Lucille Royball Allard as he leads the 9th District through a second term. In his first four years, Price fought for raising the minimum wage, cleaning up and making his community safer, creating jobs, and standing up for immigrants. But he says there's a lot more in store for the second term. We're going to be, of course, working on uh, economic development issues, more jobs for local residents, more housing, cleaner streets, better resources. Councilman Price co-sponsored the $15 hotel living wage. You'd be surprised that with a district, when it came in, that had the highest rate of unemployment in any other part of the city, we did not have a work source center here. He never does the easy things. Banning the box was hard. Raising the minimum wage was hard. And then it was time to party, at least for a little while, before Councilmember Price resumes the hard work of running the district. I'm Anna Marcos for L.A. This Week.